everybody, this is Gail, and today we're at the Andrew Johnson National Historic Site. Andrew Johnson was president um, during the Reconstruction era, and his ideas didn't quite go with Congress, and it en ended in his impeachment. Certainly not something you want to have on the resume. But we're here at the historic site. We're going to take a look around. Part of it's free. Part of it requires a ticket. I've got to find out what's accessible before we can do anything. There's actually multiple sites. One is his early home. Then there's the visitor center, which is across the street from the parking lot, and the homestead. Now, the homestead's furnished with family furniture and memorabilia, and that's what you have to have a ticket for. Then there's the National Cemetery with his burial site on top of Monument Hill that overlooks Greenville. During COVID, you are required to have a mask on if you're at federal properties. And I'm hoping the visitor center is open because I have this big tendency to get there right before closing or showing up when it's not open. This is a great time to subscribe if you have not already done so and help me out by clicking that like button. This is his early home. Four tours daily, lots of steps. So I couldn't go in even if the tours were available right now, but Andrew Johnson and his wife had four children here. There's a cell phone audio tour that you can do. Right now we're gonna cross the street going over to the visitor center where they have more information on the audio tour. Then we're gonna go inside the visitor center if it's open. Uh-oh, it closes in about 30 minutes. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Andrew Johnson National Historic Site. It's nice to have you here. We have uh, different sites. We're, we're here at the Visitor Center. The early home is across the street. Another thing that we have is the homestead. Our, our tours for the homestead are over for the day, and that's uh, in the mornings at 10.30 and 11.30. Okay. in the afternoons at 1.30 and 2.30. So how accessible is this for somebody with a mobility issue? Uh, the the homestead is not... Or, no, I have uh, walk with a leg brace. And have a service dog. Oh, okay. So okay. unstable ground and steps are not my friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not all historic sites can meet ADA standards and remain true to their historic purpose. But there is a driving route that goes between buildings, but stairs would still be an issue for me once I got inside the buildings. So I would have to skip any tours, and that makes me pretty sad and disappointed. But she did say that the Johnsons are buried in the National Cemetery and that it is still a working military cemetery. And that we could drive up there and there's some parking spaces and the view is supposed to be really nice. So we're going to be up there in sh just a few minutes after we see the movie and walk around the museum. And uh, here in the visitor center, we have a short movie. It takes about 15 minutes. Hi. Oh. Yeah. What is that? That's our Richland Creek that runs all through town. Huh. And it's a limestone creek. Yeah, limestone. Interesting fact, limestone creeks are important in the making of Tennessee whiskey. Thought you'd like to know. Now we're going to see the video, which I can't show you because of copyright reasons. The museum exhibits a uh, chronicle about his life, like this walking stick that was given to him by a German immigrant in 1865 and there's this ivory basket up here and that was given to Eliza by Queen Emma of the Sandwich Islands, um, Hawaii. We get to cast our fake vote for the Senate trial as part of his impeachment process. So which would you do? Guilty or not guilty? And this is about the transatlantic cable, which was one of Johnson's family achievements. 
and the Alaska Purchase, uh, Russian Ambassador and Florida Secretary of State, William Seward, that Russia was willing to sell its territory on the Alaska Peninsula. So another humus achievement. That's one of my favorite states, and we've been to Seward, named after the state. That's cool. Next room is his original tailor shop and that's been protected in this building since 1921. So almost, well, 100 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was by the state, and then the, the Park Service took over in 1942. And this was his first business before going into politics, becoming an alderman, mayor, senator, president, and back to senator. Hopefully you've got some postcards I can buy. We do. We've got some ah. right here. Uh -huh. And I've got a book I need to get stamped. Yeah, that's a okay. That. Yeah, our stamping station's right over okay. here. And I am talking about my National Park Passport book. It's your passport to your national parks, and you can get it stamped at every national park that you go to for free. It's just a really neat souvenir. So every time we go to a national park, I always get the book stamped, as you can see. And I got it stamped from Andrew Johnson Historic Site, as well as some other really neat places. And if you don't have the National Parks book, you can get a journal or notebook or put stamps in whatever you want to chronicle your journeys. I think I'll just stick with the postcards. Ooh, lots of neat stuff though. If you come to Greenville, Tennessee, you'll find that a lot of the streets and area is historic. And we're reminded to look both ways for traffic. And all is clear. You can see that this building has steps. There's only one in the front, but there's more steps inside and going up to the second floor, which makes it a no-go for me. And this statue is right outside the visitor center. Right here at East Depot Street and Academy Drive. This is a replica of his birthplace, which was Raleigh, North Carolina, Prior to him being here, it is a replica. We're going to step inside. I took one look at these steps and went, uh-uh. Not with my leg brace and wobbly issues. So, I asked Hubby to dash in and get some photos for you. You can see the kind of humble home life that Andrew Johnson has here with his birthplace. This is a replica. He was born in Raleigh, North Carolina. And at age three, his father passed away from pneumonia, leaving his mother to take care of them. So she apprenticed him out very, very young to become a tailor. And that building we just saw uh, protected over in the visitor center. So you can see the life that they would have had and the spinning wheel and the kitchen area. Now, after taking a look at the back steps from the house, I knew immediately that asking hubby to take those photos was the right thing to do. So big shout out and thank you to hubby for diving in and pinch hitting for me. Now we're going on up to the Andrew Johnson National Cemetery, which is right off of Main Street on Monument Avenue.
It sure is windy. But remember, it is always about hashtag Bebodacious on this channel, which means you're not going to let life get in the way of living. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Help me out by giving me a like, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.